Well, I'm Gavin Rain. I'm an artist, a pointillist painter. I grew up in a photographic studio, essentially. My grandfather was a, was a photographer and I used to sit in his studio and watch his paintings come out of paper. It was, the, the, that whole process, that, that artistic process was really interesting for me. So I kind of got involved in photography later on. Uh, I used to teach at the Cape Town School of Photography and I taught the digital section of the course in the university the film section and it was very interesting at the time that we were looking at digital photography in terms of the fact that it was a very poor uh, partner compared to its um, film counterpart and I found it interesting that everyone had embraced this technology without looking at the fact that it just isn't as good in any way the, the, I mean digital means distinct interval and so between these dots were these massive gaps and no one really minded that all that quality had gone because they had this sort of instant gratification in terms of the image. So the art of photography was kind of under threat to this new marketing kind of way. I mean it's improved now. But that was an interesting thing for me, almost uh, an analogue for our society in general that we tend to be more interested in speed versus actual quality. I think it should be interesting for us to step back and think about this. How is one influenced by these trends, these fashion trends, these societal trends? How do they, how are they inculcated by us and how does that change us? And I think that those are the kinds of things we should think about from time to time, all the time, but from time to time we should work out the kinds of things that make us who we are. It's certainly it's our family, it's our friends, it's our peers, but then there's also the greater society and, and some of these nodal individuals that f form our opinions. And today we see it with popular icons and whether they are worthy or not, it, that is the case. We always get like caught up in the nitty gritty and we don't spend enough time thinking about the impact and I mean if things like global warming and deforestation and those kinds of things serve as any kind of lesson that should be that we need to start thinking bigger. We need to stop being so involved with the, the details and actually start looking at the impact. To just step away for a bit and, and think about, well, what makes me me? Why am I me? And is that correct? Is it, is it wrong? Am I being unduly influenced by the wrong types of things um, or not? Yeah, so it, it comes, it follows on from that.